Hi guys, I'm just checking in a little early today just so that I'll have a chance to chat to you all. So if you're watching the replay, I'm just waiting on this class to start. Um, Okay, hi guys. Thank you for joining me. Hi Juliana, hi Louise. <laughs> you guys are very regular. Hi Lizzie, Hanan. Morning Anne. Thank you for joining me. to see you all thank you so much for joining again um, for those of you oh mum's back good girl <laughs> uh, for those of you who are watching the replay I'm just going to say a couple of things because you guys are hanging out now with me um, uh, if anyone hasn't heard as well I've got a free quarantine Pilates pack that you can download uh, from the link in my Instagram bio or from my website epilatesonline.com <laughs> That's funny. My mum just called me in. <laughs> That's funny. Now, um, today's class. Hi, Lindy. Lindy, sorry. Trudy, hi. And Penny, hi. Good to see you girls. Have you got the kids, Trude? <laughs> um, it's uh, 4.30. I'm trying to start on time. I know I never do. I always have a chit-chat with you guys while you're coming on. Um, Today's class is a postnatal focus class, but it's good for everyone, especially women, uh, but also guys, because um, we all need to work our pelvic floor muscles, um, strengthen our pelvic floor, but in a functional way. So a lot of people do Kegels, um, which is fine, and there, there is a place for Kegels. But um, it is really good to also do more exercises rather than just rely on Kegels. So the exercises we do today are going to really target the high meals, <laughs> are going to target the uh, pelvic floor muscles, uh, deep core stabilizing muscles like uh, transverse abdominal muscles. Hi, good to see varicose veins could be because not strong pelvic floor. Oh, I actually haven't heard of that, to be honest. You've stumped me there on that one. Um, good question. I never thought of it. So, so I can't really give you an answer on that one. Um, I will look it up, though. I'll have a little research for you. Good question. Um, let's chat again on offline on that one, hun. Um, so, yeah, pelvic floor is important to keep strong, but also, hi, Jen. Hi, Cost. Toxis, Liliana, um, it's also good to keep flexible pelvic floor. So it's one thing as women to keep strengthening, but there is such a thing as having too tight a pelvic floor. Uh, I specialize in helping women in pre and postnatal journeys. So I work a lot with um, different women at different you know, stages of their, their journey. Um, and I have come across in, in my time clients who have had too tight a pelvic floor, and actually that happened a lot in the Pilates industry. A lot of us teachers started to get too tight in the pelvic floor because we were cueing a lot uh, pelvic floor, and often when you talk about it, you do it yourself. Uh, Pilates did start out that way where it was a lot more thinking and connecting pelvic floor, but we did actually stop cueing it because not everyone actually needs strengthening of the pelvic floor. Generally, you know... Uh, if you do, so if you, if a couple of ways to tell if you leak when you cough or sneeze, um, maybe you know you can't hold your bladder for very long um, because the pelvic floor muscles actually connect to the bladder. So uh, it's really important to make sure you know you're keeping strong pelvic floor to also support your bladder. Okay, hi Julie, hi Mel. Not postnatal, but popping in. No, absolutely. This is great for everyone. This is even good for men. And the reason is because uh, if men strengthen and work their pelvic floor, it helps prevent prostate problems. So there's a lot of good reasons for all women to do this. Um, uh, you know, this is 
this is some an area that a lot of us can be imbalanced in, believe it or not. I am actually. I've had uh, an injury into my sacroiliac joint before, and it means I have an unstable sacrum, which can also affect my pelvic floor. Sometimes I need to keep that strong. And um, the key is when, when you strengthen, when you do the strengthening work, to not just um, focus on strengthening, but also releasing and stretching. And I'm going to show you a couple of stretches as well. Hi, Jess. You're back too. Hi, Julie. So um, if you have a pillow, grab it. I'll just give you a couple of seconds to grab that. Uh, if you don't, don't worry. All these can be done without a pillow. Just a small pillow to pop between your knees. Um, that will be amazing because the more you feel uh, an adductor connection, the inner thigh connection, then the more you're going to work your pelvic floor. So the two are connected. Um, so I'll give you a second to grab a pillow if you can. Kristen, hi. And I'm just going to tap this um, video on. Um, so... Um, if you have any questions about anything at the end, stick around. We can chat then. Um, but for those of you who just joined, just know that I have um, a free postnatal five-day challenge as well that you can do. It's just a few short videos to give you a little insight. Uh, morning, Chantal, into more of um, postpartum, more pelvic floor um, exercises, etc. And I have a full program. I have a full uh, three-month program which is called the Core Restore Program. So this is ideal if you are very, um, you know, new uh, mum, if you've just recently had a baby, and Jess will vouch for that. She's done this program, actually. Um, it's a fantastic way to regain strength safely, um, but it's also good if you know you have a weaker pelvic floor. So remember, if you cough or sneeze and leak, or if you... Um, uh, tend to get up often in the night to go to the toilet. So all those things can mean you have a weaker pelvic floor. All right, guys, let's start. And uh, grab your pillow if you have it. Um, I'm using uh, the soft, squishy ball as my you know, prop. If you've got one of these, that's even better. But don't worry if you don't. And we're going to start lying on the back with the pillow or ball, whatever you're using between your knees. And have your legs about hip distance apart, roughly. And feet are flat on the floor. So from here, I just want you to take a moment to relax your body. Because often we're so used to gripping the muscles, tightening and gripping everything, over-engaging almost, that uh, it's hard to find the deep core stabilizing muscles. And that's what the pelvic core is and the lower tummy we're going to focus on as well. They are deep stabilizing muscles, and they are muscles that we don't want to over-recruit. It's not like the glutes or biceps where we want to really engage and work strong. These muscles work best what we call low load, so not doing too strong an activation. Okay, so I want you to focus right now on relaxing your body, and just take a moment to close your eyes, and Especially if you're a new mum, this is really essential for all of us though right now. Just relax your shoulders, relax your neck. And I just want you to feel the back of the head resting into the mat. So feel the weight of your head into the mat. And then feel the little gap under the nape of the neck, kind of where the neck arches. And keeping your eyes closed, just feel this in your body. Feel the shoulders touching the floor and the upper spine touching the floor. Feel the back of the ribs maybe touching, not for everyone. So just notice the back of the rib area if it's touching the mat. Then you may start to feel a little gap in the lower part of the spine and along the spine. And that's great if you do. If you don't, that's fine too. Um, everyone's spine is different, so just feel what your body's doing. And then feel maybe your sacrum tailbone area touching the mat. So just take a few moments while you're feeling the body kind of melt a little into the mat. And then place your hands onto the side of the roof, so just on the roof cage, and we're going to and as you're lying here, just start to notice what happens 
Through your body as you inhale and as you exhale. Pay attention and notice if your ribs are moving out and in. And keep one hand on the ribs and place one hand on your belly. Just above the pubic bone, below your lower top, your belly button. That in the clear. See if you can feel the body expand as you inhale and close as you exhale. This is where we want the breath to go deep into the body, into the belly, into the ribs, more than into the chest. We can place both hands over your hip bones now and just. Feel that fingertip on the lower tummy. So your hands are like this on your belly. Where those hip bones are, those hard points at the top, just put your hands across and see so your fingertips on your lower belly. And as you exhale now, just let your belly relax. Feel it kind of sink. As you inhale, relax your body. Your belly may rise a little. And as you exhale, just feel your belly sink. And that sinking feeling is what we're after for our connection of our lower tummy. Slight burning of the lower tummy. And then I want you to think about the pelvic floor just gently engaging, gently squeezing up a little bit, not too strong. So I have a few cues on this I use differently in my other programs. But just today, I just want you, because most of you know how to gently engage the pelvic floor, like you're stopping yourself going to the toilet, just gently connect, and just start to now take your arms back over your head, behind your head, but don't go all the way that you let your ribs pop. So we want the ribs to stay down and connected to that. Just take your arms beside your ears, and then take your arms forward again. Inhale, take your arms beside your ears, and then exhale, bring your arms forward. Keep going with that, just warming up your arms and shoulders. And start to circle the arms all the way around and then back up. So as your arms go back, don't let your ribs pop. Find that connection. See if you can keep the back of the ribs touching the mat. So I can only do one arm, guys, but just imagine I'm doing two circling. So I've got them all in the way. So your arms are back. Inhale. Arms sweep around. Exhale. Let's do one more. We're just warming up the shoulders. Should feel really nice in your shoulders. Keeping the core engaged, let's reverse it. Take the arms out and down and to the hips. So as the arms go out, both arms, the palms will face the ceiling as you sweep around, and then the palms face each other as you go down. Let's do two more. I'm going to be a bit lopsided. <laughs> and down. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. And release. Now let's start with a hip roll. Take a breath in. As you exhale, scoop your belly a little to flatten your back. Start to feel your tailbone, your lower back, your middle back off the mat. And just keep hugging lightly on your pillow if you have one. Take a breath in at the top. Exhale, peel your spine down one bone at a time, releasing your tailbone at the end. Inhale. Exhale, scoop the abdominals, roll your pelvis up towards the ceiling. And take a breath in at the top. Now, when you get to the top, don't let your ribs pop. Keep the connection. Keep pulling your pubic bone towards your nose as you roll down. You feel more of a deep abdominal connection. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, use your abdominals. Then you can activate the glutes only after you've connected through the center. As you go down, pull your pubic bone towards your nose. Keep going, last two. Exhale, roll up. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll down. Touching one vertebrae at a time on the way up and one vertebrae at a time on the way down. And slowly roll back down. And then take your ball away and just place your hands back on your hips. But imagine you're still holding the ball so your knees are not dropping out. The inner thighs are connected. Now, I want you to see if you can keep your hips very level as you do this exercise. So they're not shifting around. I don't want any movement. 
possible. So we take a breath in, your right knee goes only halfway out, and you exhale, bring it back in to the start position. Inhale, the left knee goes out, halfway only, not all the way. Exhale, bring it back in to the start position. Activate those inner thighs. Inhale, open the right leg. Exhale, bring it in. Now, when you do this, notice with your hip, is it shifting? So take your right knee out. Notice, does your right hip drop? Keep that level. And to do that, you have to activate those deep abdominals. So that's your focus, really not moving anything else. And then the deep core will start to activate. You probably won't need to focus as much on pelvic floor and lower tummy. It will probably just happen naturally if you are having to stabilize here. If not, start to connect a little more. So use the breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, back in. Last one. Inhale, open. And exhale back in. Now, if you are a very new mum, if you're only four to six weeks, this is where you'll stay if you haven't been exercising as well. Uh, if you have had cesarean, you may want to stick to this as well, depending on how far you're along. Um, but those of you who know you've got a little bit of strength back, you can start with a leg lift. So we inhale and we connect to the center, sink your belly, exhale with one leg to tabletop, inhale, hold. And then exhale, lower your leg down. So the whole time, see if you can hold the lower tummy connected, not let your belly pop up. Inhale, exhale, connect and lift. Breathe in and exhale down. So you're keeping everything stable. Exhale when you lift. Ideally, the belly's not pushing out into your hands. One more, inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale. And exhale down. Very good. Now inhale again and reach your right leg back up to tabletop when you exhale. This is a progression next level. But if this is too much, if you can't keep the center connected, you go back to just lifting the lower. We're going to extend the leg away, but keep those deep abdominals connected. And bend the leg back in. Lower your leg back now. That's your move. Exhale to lift. Inhale, hold. Let's hold first. Exhale to reach, inhale to bring it in, exhale to lower, breathe in again, exhale deep in your center, float the leg up, inhale hold, exhale reach but keep that connection in the tummy, inhale bend and exhale lower, one more, inhale, exhale deepen in your abdominals, inhale hold, Exhale, reach. Inhale, bend. And exhale, lower. And then just bring your legs together. Knees and feet all touch. Take your arms a little wider than your mat. Send your knees over to one side. And I want you to look the opposite direction. Just stretch a little for your back. Use your deep abdominals to bring your knees back to center. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale here, exhale center. Let's do it in two breaths. Inhale over, exhale center. Use the tummy. Inhale over, now bring the back of the ribs down to the mat as you exhale. Keep going. Use your abdominals to pull the legs back. Really feel that. Inhale. Use your tummy to bring you back. Two more of these. Inhale, exhale. Last one, and exhale. Now roll all the way to one side, and press yourself all the way up. Very good. Come onto your hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and keep your back in neutral to begin. We're gonna go into a cat stretch, breathing in first. Exhale from tailbone, tuck under, draw your pubic bone to your nose, round your spine. Inhale, and you just come back to neutral. So this time we're just going to focus on coming into round back as you exhale. Scoop those abdominals, feel the connection of your tummy. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, think of dropping your tailbone down, pulling your pubic bone towards your nose. Inhale, lengthen out. Let's do two more. Exhale, 
Keep connecting those tummy muscles as you press your back to the ceiling. Inhale, last one. Exhale, scoot the abdominals. Good, inhale, release. And to stretch the pelvic floor now, we're going to keep this neutral. Stick the bottom up as you press the hips back. Try not to let the bottom, the back round, the bottom tuck under, and then bring the hips forward. So I'm going to inhale, go back, and then exhale forward. Feel like your two bottom bones, your sitting bones, are spreading apart as you go back. So this is actually a, a stretching of the pelvic floor more than strengthening, which is good to do after all the strength when we've just done. Again, two more. Open back and forward. Last one. And hold it in. Now sit back, back onto your, your feet. Give your wrist a roll out if you need it. We have one more exercise just to open up the back muscles, but also work to stabilize the core muscles. Hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips. Keep your connection to your abdominals and take your left arm forward without dropping your shoulder, without dropping your weight, without letting your shoulder come to your ear. So keep your shoulder connected into the back, back to center. Other side, reach and in. Two more slow. Reach and in. See if you can keep stable. Imagine you have your favorite beverage. Coffee, tea, wine, whatever it is on your shoulders. You don't want to spill it. Now we're going to change to the leg. So slide one leg away and bring it back in. Same again. You've got your favorite beverage on your bottom. You can't spill it. And in. And again, reach. And in. If it's too much on your wrist with the mat, just roll your mat up. I'm oh, sorry, if it's too much on your wrist in this position, just roll your mat up. And so you're not wobbling, you're keeping really steady with the legs. And then opposite arm and leg now, guys. So extend it out, hold, put it on the floor, hands on the floor. Then without wobbling, keep your center connected, lift the arm and leg up, back down and in. Again, extend, lift, try not to wobble. Now the, the more you can go, be stable here, the more you'll activate your center. You feel it, if you actually do a really good job of this, if you're not wobbling, you'll feel more. Keep pushing your body up to the ceiling. Try not to let your chest drop. Good. This one is so good for us all. This is fantastic for your back pain. This is working with the back muscles. Um, all your core, this is so good for us all. You can sit a lot, this is great. Working with stabilizing muscles and um, just sit back again and just stretch out your wrists. Coming up to a seated position and legs crossed or however you're comfortable. Take one hand to the opposite knee, drop your shoulders and twist your spine a little. Just enjoy that stretch. Keep your hand on the knee now. As you reach the other arm up and over the side, bend your body. You've got your holding the knee and you can gently pull it in. Take your hand to the other knee and twist again to the back. Drop your shoulders. Keep your hand on the knee and come to the front. Stretch it out. Enjoy that stretch. And return. Give your shoulders a roll. It's a stretch for the back. So if you can, interlace your fingers and press the arms back. You can't reach the hands. Just bring your hands to the floor as fine. And see if you can lift your chest. Both options are to lift up. Open the sternum. Open the chest. Or lift the sternum. Open your chest. Feel that lift. Feel the back working in this position. And if you're a new mom, you definitely need to do a back opening because if you're breastfeeding and you're holding the baby. Or, again, for all of us, if you're on the computer or devices, we all need to open up the back. Get the computer out of our back. And release. Keep your shoulders a little roll, and you're all done. Thank you so much. 
we had success today with the uh, live, so that's good. Hey guys, so who's still here? Let me know how you went. There's a few of you still here. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Anne. You guys, just to let you know, it's going to be live. It's going to still be going on uh, Instagram for 24 hours and available on Instagram story and also uh, or con uh, constantly on Facebook. Um, for those of you who joined me and missed the beginning um, in class, just to let you know, I have a free five-day postpartum challenge. Uh, if you want to uh, get a copy of that, just PM me, or I'll try and remember to put the link in the, the bottom of the Facebook um, page. But uh, you can reach out to me, PM me. Um, and I also have a free uh, quarantine Pilates pack. So if you didn't hear that at the beginning, just to let you know, if you do need more classes, to continue on with while you're home. Oh good mum, you did it, thank you. Lindy, great. Oh good, yes, keep going with the 21 day challenge, that's good. Oh, yeah, I know Mel, thank goodness no interruptions today. Thanks Julie, see you tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow's a stretch class guys, so um, we will do Stretch tomorrow, same time. Thank you so much. Good to see you, Isia. <laughs> 51. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. So these are all postpartum safe exercises. These are great for your back as well. Uh, thanks, Anne. Good to see you. Um, thanks, Francesca. Debbie and Kristen, great. And for more information, yeah, on postpartum uh, exercises, just reach out to me if you need to know any um, any more info on that. And for those of you just coming on, I see more people coming on. You can catch this replay in Facebook uh, and also on Instagram uh, for a story. The 24 hours on story and all the time in Facebook. Couldn't find the foot one. Uh, you, so the foot one's gone now because it only lasts 24 hours on Instagram. So you can catch the beginning of it in Facebook, the rest cut out. Um, but I will put these up in the Corfit Club if you do want to catch it in the Corfit Club. Um, they will eventually be going there. So I have the full recording for the Corfit Club. That's my online Pilates membership. Um, and it's just one dollar for those of you who don't know, one dollar for the month. And uh, you can try out that during quarantine while I have that great special. I have heaps of great classes in there uh, if you're interested. There's over 200 classes that you can try out and this, these ones will be in there as well. Thanks, Juliana. Good to see you. See you tomorrow for Stretch. Hi, Dorothy. Thanks, guys. There's still a few people here. Let me know if you have any questions before I sign off. Yes, Mel, you'll get it. <laughs> You're in the club. I love it. So you'll be fine. They will definitely go up. But there is a foot fitness class in the Corfi Club already, uh, which you can re you can check out in the specialty section. Uh, while you're waiting for these ones to come up, you can try that. It's got a, some of the exercises in it that I did. Liliana, thank you so much. Um, Lindy, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Okay, guys. Well, if no more questions, lovely to see you all again. Um, reach out if you need anything, and I will see you tomorrow, same time, for a stretch class tomorrow. Uh, and just put any, if you have questions that come up after this, just pop them in the comments. I can, I can ask them then. Signed up your quarantine pack and working with now. Okay, good. Thank you, Anita. That's great. Yeah, don't forget to sign up for the quarantine pack, guys. It's at my website, epilatesonline.com. Uh, some great classes in there for you to try. Thank you, Mega. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you, guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much.
Bye, Mel.